Steph, what do you think of the, the contributions you get off the bench tonight? Gary, Otto, D. Lee, among others. Um, it's huge. We knew it coming in, they would be <clears throat> great uh, additions off the bench and play a lot of different roles. Not just one game, but you know, throughout the regular season, you have to have, and especially the way that we play, you have to have contributions um, from everybody. And just getting comfortable with you know, what it looks like, how it feels, uh, not getting too stuck on the, the stat sheet, just in the results. And you know, obviously off to a good start, but uh, I think there's confidence building. Our chemistry is solid. Everybody you know, knows we're gonna be involved with the confidence when we get out there knowing what to do, how to do it, make plays. Um, it's growing. They're following up on that. Are you quick, are you surprised how quickly it's come? with everything coming together and the confidence growing the way it has? No, because there's still a lot of room for improvement. I mean, again, we want to win games early, we want to get off to a good start, but it's, uh, we know we have a lot of things that we can sharpen up, like every team in the league, but we have the capability to do it. Most teams kind of trick yourself a little bit, but they feel like we have that capability to take you know, productive strides every game. Uh, hopefully, we can, you know, continue to win, continue to be competitive. And, you know, we've won three different games, three different ways, and, uh, but it's still about building confidence in the early in the year. What would Gary give you as a guy you kind of just drop in a game like that? I mean, he's, he shows uh, his knack for just being, you know, hawking the ball, obviously, defensively. But, you know, offensively, just cutting and being in the right spot. You got him to uh, throw ahead, forward line back cuts. So he can transition. He has a uh, crazy wingspan. He can go get it. Uh, obviously, transition, you know, alley oop. But defensively, he gives us, uh, you know, an edge. Um, and then he knocked down two threes, which is huge. He's going to get the open shots, and you have to take them. So, you know, for him to just stay locked in, stay competitive. Stay focused on when his moment comes. He show he can do it. It was obviously a, a topic in the preseason, but did what he did tonight show the value of having somebody in that 15 spot? One thousand percent. Steph is only three games in, but do you think you guys have kind of figured out an identity yet, or what you guys really have to hang your hats on to win games and, and be successful this season? I mean, it's always been the same since. Uh, Coach Kerr got here since we you know, came into this chapter of Warriors basketball, but you know, I think similar to the earlier question, it's just you know, guys in rotation just gaining confidence. Um, you know, I always say it's nice to learn the lessons we need to learn in wins and keep keep things moving in the right direction because it just helps morale. One, um, you know, you know it's not gonna be perfect all year, but just continue to help morale and understand that again we have the capability. Hey, Gerard. First, first time you faced Davion Mitchell, you know, he kind of entered the league with a defensive reputation. What do you think of that match? I think uh, all that hype about his defense, you know, the offensive assassin. <laughs> so, um, I'm sure he had that in the tank, but you know, he has, <clears throat> and again, a knack for his own ball presence. And obviously, the way that we play, you got to do both. So, I'm sure he, he felt a little bit of that, but. Just the confidence of a guy coming in. It's, it's his third game in the league, but you know, there's a lot of room to grow. But you can definitely tell he has all the tools in the kit to be a defensive you know, stopper. Um, just a, uh, a pest out there in, in the best of ways. The record definitely shows it, but when, when Draymond is aggressive, like he has been this year, what does that do for Seattle? Um, I mean, it just keeps things moving in terms of on both ends of the floor. He, we obviously know he can impact the game on the defensive end. Uh, I told him in the second quarter, I think there was a moment, it's kind of a broken play, and the ball kicked to him on the left side of the floor. And he first, his instinct was to look at the rim and attack, and that just made everybody react. And then he found uh, Belly on a backdoor cut, and those opportunities are huge because. He made it, you know, three early in the game. 
no hesitation shooting it. That play where there's no hesitation to make the play. Um, it just keeps everybody honest. And, you know, when you have the floor space like that, the ball finds him at the right time. He, makes, he make, usually makes the right decision. And it almost demoralizes the teams. You got to give up something. Do you feel like you guys are in, uh, early this season are uh, playing, uh, even coaching, game planning with more urgency, just as a whole? Not, I mean, not any different than any other year. It's just you start off the year more so building on what you've done successfully, as opposed to having to go back to the drawing board after every loss, especially on how we started last year. Walking two tough games and they're blown out. And you're like, oh, sh you know, what, what do we do now? So this is more of it's obviously a better vibe. But again, we know we have a lot of work to do. We know it's not um, you know, 10 out of 10 on execution on both sides, but doing enough to win games and continue to build. And that's a much better foundation to build on than, than last year. I'd ask it a different way. Do you think, do you agree with Steve that you guys are chasing wins? <laughs> <laughs> Chasing 82 and all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that comment's going to haunt it for a long time. Hey, Steph, on the uh, alley-oop with Gary, uh, the first one, seemed like you kind of waited for him. Can you take us through kind of what you were thinking in slow motion on, on that particular play and the timing that you have with GP? I was just making sure the defender commits to you and, and then just throw it anywhere near the rim. Kind of got to be patient. We do that drill all the time in practice, three on two, two on one on the way back, and you just have to get to a situation where you know, the defender commits one way or the other. Either I got a layup, or you know, GP's got to do a drop down pass or an alley oop dunk. So um, it's a subtle thing, but he was like one step ahead of me. So yeah, the thing is, Davion, he could play both of us at the same time. So that would be good. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll have at least one other guy in here, probably Draymond or Damian.